Harmonic tremolo is an effect that uh, first uh, came out on some um, amps in the uh, early and mid 60s. And it's distinguished from a tremolo by the fact that the uh, signal is divided into a high and low frequency band and those are modulated independently. Where it gets really dynamic and sort of involving is in the mid range because the frequency bands overlap and there's a certain amount of phasing or phase shifting that happens in the mid range and what you end up with is something that has a lot of the sort of throb and rhythmic uh, aspect of a tremolo with the kind of timbral dynamics of uh, something more like a really delicious phaser. Um, it's kind of hard to describe and it's easier to hear. What makes this pedal very unique and much more versatile than a lot of harmonic trims is the fact you can dial in depth separately for the high and low range. And to me, this is the heart of what's particularly exciting about this pedal. It has a fantastic basic harmonic trim sound, but the ability to dial in these bands separately gives you a wide range of effects from things that are very close to a pulsing tremolo but have more clarity to things that are closer to a sort of pulsing phasing thing uh, but that have a solid bottom end. Not a lot of roll off, not an overly bright sound. That's a lot of talk but I want to show you exactly what I mean, okay? So right here, I have the high band dialed way back and the low band up a little past 12 o'clock and we get... <laughs> So we get this beautiful, clear, unmodulated, chimey top end, and we have this pulsing but solid and not rolled off low end, and then in the middle there's just, 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 just a little hint of something starting to happen, which you'll hear as we bring the highs up. <laughs> a kind of chewiness in the mid-range. Now we roll this all the way down. Check out what we get. It's a stunning sound where the low end is just solid and there and the high end is doing this modulation beautiful kind of jangly shimmery thing and um, of course you can dial in varying amounts of each for a sort of endless range of um, sort of modulation flavors <laughs> I could go on and on. If you're somebody who likes uh, tremolo, uh, but also likes vibe and phaser, um, and want to work with something that has a lot of colors, but isn't super aggressive or obtrusive, man, this thing is remarkably versatile for how simple it is. It can work in so many different roles. It doesn't sound dated in any setting, but you can get the classic sounds. There is a trim pod inside that if you want a bit more of a volume boost, there's just a tiny bit of a volume boost with the stock setting, just to give you um, a little compensation for the fact that anytime you're modulating the signal and amplitude, you're kind of reducing the average volume. But if you need it louder or less loud, you can adjust that inside. But three knobs do it all, and it's basically because the fundamental sound, and this is over and over again the case with Menatone stuff, the fundamental sound is just spot on, super musical, very, very quiet, and very dynamic and fun to play. Till next time.